Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning! I hope you guys are earning your sunrise. Uh, right now, it is dark, it's cloudy, and it looks like it's gonna rain. But, however, rain is good. It is cleansing the earth. Just like in life, you go through things in your life that is cleansing you. Um, I'm in the gym, just came out of the gym, and thing that kind of made me pop in my head, I'm looking at the demographics of the people who are working out. All different ages, all different sizes, shapes, uh, different people, always striving to work on themselves because it's that inner game. It's that game within themselves. It's that mind and it's that matter that mostly matters. When you look at this right now, is as simple as this. We are on a war against average. When you're in the gym, you're working on becoming better than you were yesterday. When you read a book, you take a class, you're working in your job, you're always striving to be better. Sometimes we don't look at it and think about that stuff because we let this monkey mind get a hold of us. This monkey mind jumps from branch to branch always looking for that instant gratification and always trying to seek out that banana and when you realize that when you eliminate that monkey mind you start focusing more on your strengths because the monkey mind always has you focusing on your weakness or, or I should say it prevents you from focusing on your strength because it prevents you. It always gives you that nice little shiny object. It, it always prevents you from seeking what you truly have that potential in and where you can really have some growth. That's the one thing I love about the gym is seeing people when they start and then they're continuously working at it a year from when they started, they're a totally different person. It's the same thing about life. It's the same thing about when you're dealing with some kind of a difficulty, you're starting something, it's about consistency. It's not about the intensity, it's a consistency. No matter what you're doing. Yes, you have saying, I need to have certain growth, I need to have certain things, but you have to play with that type of thing. You have to look at it as, yes, there, there's gonna be intense times, but there's also gonna be times where you need to have a little bit of relaxation in your life. Let things kinda of let them be instead of trying to always control things. That was one of my main focus and one of my issues that I've always had was always trying to focus, always trying to create an outcome. Because as an athlete, I know what I want. I focus it, I visualize it, and I will go after it. However, once I eliminated the trying to control things and started just letting it be, that's when I started really having the fun in life, in whether it's in athletics, whether it's in real life, um, just letting it be. It's just like another example. Last night, I was dancing. And the thing about dancing is, taking some dance lessons, is that you, you have to learn to lead as a man because the woman's gonna follow. No matter what the woman, what, a, what skill level she is, if the guy has the skills, he can direct her, push her, pull her, make her turn, you know, and do all the different moves in order because the man will make the woman look good. When the instructor brought on another individual that was on the, uh, that was taking the lessons, wow, just seeing the moves that he was doing, and it made them look together that they were practicing together whereas I danced with her and she's a beginner like I am the thing is about life itself is being consistent how did that guy get there by being consistent had a conversation with him he's been dancing for 23 years he's been dancing he's been coaching for about 20 years and the thing is is that because of course his mom is the dance instructor he was just filling in the thing is is that he was consistent you're never going to get that success unless you have consistency doesn't matter if you win lose or whatever it's all in your mind because nobody knows what happened last year like who who lost the super bowl who won the super bowl last year we don't remember that 
you know, the following year, who did that and that. We don't know that type of stuff because we tend to only be focused in this moment right now. And that's the whole thing. But monkey mind prevents you from being in that moment. So my friend, work on that monkey mind, work about being present, work at always striving every single day. You have a blessed and awesome day. Be about it instead of talking about it and namaste.